sees it, 115-112, Spinks. What's up, boxing fans? This is the Rope and Dope Report. Jerome Jacopco, scored about 115-112, Lattimore. I'm your host, Chris Carlson, at the decision for the Sphinx Lattimore fight. Weisel, I'm here by with my buddy Aaron. 114, 113 for your winner by split decision and new IBF Junior Middleweight Champion, Corey, Corey Sphinx. Next Generation Sphinx. Anyway, this is the Rope and Dope Report. Like I said, my name is uh, Chris Carlson. You know me, I'm the host of the show. I got a co-host who's eating right now, and uh, he seems happy over there. Aaron, say hi to the camera. Hey, He's gonna have his own uh, videos down the line. Anyway, um, this was a pretty good fight. Um, let's actually talk about where the box score for the show, Showbox Showtime fight um, with Corey Spinks and DeAndre Lattimore. Let me turn this down a little bit. I had to draw, or I had to fight a draw, yeah, I had to fight a, um, a tie through six, and then Spinks took over, but let's talk about the undercard fight, um, it was a good fight, uh, Jesus, Chewy Rodriguez, um, versus, uh, Devon Alexander, and actually Chewy knocked him down right in the first, uh, round, uh, it wasn't called a knockdown, but he did knock him down, and, uh, you know, Chewy, it was a good fight for Alexander, even though, uh, you know, early on he was throwing this jab, but uh, Chewy does a good job at blocking shots, and he was uh, blocking that jab, really, for the first three rounds. Plus, Alexander was kind of short with it. I don't know if he was kind of uh, measuring with it or what, but he was definitely short with it, so even if... Uh, Chewy wasn't uh, blocking the jab. Either way, it wouldn't have hit him. So Alexander Kane kind of came out there a little slow, kind of getting his timing down. Um, he, uh, you know, he didn't look good that early in the first two rounds, I'd say. But then Alexander took over with his speed and just punching power. Chewy is a is a guy that counters back. He hits hard. Um, he's fun to watch, although he doesn't have. Uh, a lot of KOs or anything like that, but like I said, he knocked him down with, I believe, was it a body shot? Yeah. I think it was a body shot that uh, Chewy actually knocked down Alexander early. It looked like a knockdown to me. Um, on the replay, it looked like that, too. But um, anyway, Alexander basically took over the fight. You know, for the first three to four rounds, it was a good fight, tight fight. Then the fifth, sixth round, it started getting sluggish, much like uh, the Sphinx Lattimore. Um, then all of a sudden, it picked up, and I think it was the ninth round, uh, Rodriguez took a knee, I think, in the seventh or eighth, and then in the ninth uh, round, he took another knee and kind of just quit. Um, you know, it was it was just an all-out assault at that point, uh, basically. But like I said, Alexander got a really good test. Um, I, I don't think he's any he's not ready for basically the top five of this division at all, actually. So I think he should take at least another fight or two. Um, he's still a prospect. But like I said, he got a good test tonight, and that's what Showbox, uh, the, the you know, Showtime Friday Night Fights are all about. You see a, a vet go against a, a young, um, well, even now, he, he's a young vet, but he's had a lot of fights. He's actually fought a lot of, there's nothing, you know, the, 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 the announcers were kind of downplaying um, Rodriguez because he has three losses, but they're all good losses, and he's fought a lot of good talent at uh, 140, considering he's only had... Um, under 20 fights, I think, uh, was it 16 fights, something like that. Anyway, let's get to the uh, Corey Spinks fight. Um, Corey Spinks actually in his hometown got booed, so it was kind of weird. A little cheers, mostly boo when he was coming out, right? And they were cheering for uh, DeAndre Lattimore. Um, Lattimore actually hurt Spinks early, knocked him down and everything. It was, uh, it was quite shocking. Um, Spinks was in there kind of sloppy, just kind of throwing punches in the pocket. Even though the whole fight was in the pocket, early on Spinks wasn't using any defense. He had his hands down, he was kind of just lunging in, looking like he was going for the knockout. I think he underestimated, um, I'm pretty sure he underestimated Lattimore. That's what it looked like, because early on it looked like for three rounds, this was a solid fight, really for the maybe fourth I'd say about the fifth round, it started to slow down. They were both getting tired, and that's the thing. They showed up a stat. It was sixteen. What was it? Sixteen to one. Sixteen round or sixteen times, um, Spinks had gone nine rounds or more, and Lattimore had only gone um, nine rounds once. So that's where it was. You could see they both were were tired. Their legs were shot. Spinks moved around a little bit, but pretty much like I said, he just put up his hands more. 
and uh, use the jab and just uh, kind of one two one two, kind of playing it safe, moving the the body a lot more than he was doing early. Like I said, I think he underestimated Lattimore because he came in there all guns a blazing. Anyone that knows Corey Spinks, the next generation, he's kind of a boring fighter. I respect his his fight game. He's got a good defensive style. He's definitely pulled some upset and has some solid uh, wins. But uh, if you attack him, you can beat him. That's what Vernon Phillips did in his last fight. And he just hasn't fought enough in the last two years to be active. And you can tell uh, right away he came out rusty. But to his, uh, you know, to his credit, he turned the fight around. He slowed the fight down. He did his game. He played more defense, even though, like I said, he was in the pocket for most of the fight. They started leaning on each other a lot and yeah. holding each other. But uh, like I said, I'd say fifth, sixth, seventh round, it started getting boring. Correct. Like I said, let me see. I had it. Yeah, I had a, a draw, like I said, um, after six. So I thought it was a tight fight because of the first two rounds that I thought L uh, Lattimore won for sure. But uh, then Spinks pulled it out and basically. I mean, Lattimore had, you know, he hit him pretty good in the 12th round and maybe in the 10th round. You know, he fought him. I think he won maybe one round after that. Um, actually, I gave him the, no, I didn't give him the 11th. I gave him the 10th. I gave uh, Lattimore the 10th. But after that, after the 6th round, the fight was over. Corey Spinks is now back in line for probably a big fight. Anyway, I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Right. Co-host Aaron, hey. say hello. Hey. Um, that was another edition of the Rope of Dope Report. I'm your host, Chris Carlson. Uh, peace. Yeah.